Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to use the sales dashboard to discuss some of the practical use cases of one of the most useful features in Tableau, which is the parameter feature. Tableau parameter is a placeholder for a global value, such as a number, a string, or a date. You can use parameters in many different ways, such as in calculations, filters, sets, or reference lines. This can open many opportunities to drive interactive user experiences with the dashboards. In this sales dashboard, I use the Superstore dataset to create the period-to-date aggregation dropdown. As you can see, I can toggle between different period-to-date levels, such as month-to-date, quarter-to-date, or year-to-date, to view the most up-to-date sales metrics, as well as period-over-period -period changes in sales and profit. I will divide this topic into two parts. In this video, I will talk about how you can create this period-to-date aggregation using the Tableau parameter and calculated fields. In the next video, I will focus on how to perform the period-over-period -period calculations based on the period-to-date aggregation. Now let's take a look at the Superstore dataset. In this table, it shows the aggregated sales metrics, including the total order volume, sales amount, and sales profit, etc. by the order date. In a typical sales dashboard, we often want to understand the period-to-date sales and revenue metrics. In this case, showing different metrics by the order date will not be able to provide enough insights into the sales performance. In fact, we want to be able to easily aggregate these metrics to different period-to-date levels, such as year-to-date, quarter-to-date, and month-to-date. In Tableau, we can create the period-to-date parameter to allow the users to dynamically select which period-to-date granularity they would like to use and view the metrics accordingly. Now let's see how we can use the parameter feature to show the period-to-date metrics. Click the drop-down arrow on the Dimensions pane to create a new parameter. I will call this parameter Select Period to Date Aggregation. Inside the parameter, I choose to use String as the data type and List as the allowable values. Under the list of values, I put Year to Date, Quarter to Date, Month to Date, and Week to Date as the list of drop-down values. Now right-click and choose to show parameter control. You will see a parameter dropdown being added to the sheet with the four values that you have just identified. Next, you need to create a new calculated field. I call this field order date filter for this period to date. I want to use this field to filter the order date to the period to date values only and also dynamically change the period to date conditions based on the four values from the parameter dropdown. Let's take a look. Inside the calculation, I use the case when statement, and the logic goes like this. Assuming today is December 15, 2020, case the period to date aggregation parameter. When the user chooses year to date from the parameter, I want to show the order days less than or equal to today. Also, I want the year of the order date to be the same as the year of today. In this case, it will be 2020. When the user chooses quarter to date, I want to show all the order dates less than or equal to today. I also want the quarter of the order date to be the same as the quarter of today, which is Q4 2020. Once you apply this logic to all the four period to date values, you basically set the filtering condition for the order date to show the period to date values only. Drag and drop this field to filters and set the custom value to true only. Now you will see that the order date shows the days from December 1st to December 15th since the period to date parameter is set to months to date. If you switch from months to date to quarter to date, the order date range will change and shows the days in Q4 2020, which is from October 1st through December 15th. But you probably have noticed that the order date field does not really aggregate when you choose between different period to date levels. So we will need to format the order date field. Here, I've created another calculated field 
called the order date aggregation for period to date. When year to date is selected, I want to show the current year. When quarter to date is selected, I want to show the current quarter. And when month to date is selected, I want to show the current year and month. You notice that in this calculation, I used another function called date name. In Tableau, the date name function will return the name of the month or quarter. Drag and drop this field to the rows shelf. As you can see, the new order date field is formatted and shown as December 2020 rather than individual days when period to date granularity is set to month to date. When you toggle between different levels of period to date granularity, the newly formatted order date label will change accordingly. You can remove the original order date from the table and only leave the new formatted order date. Now the sales and revenue metrics are aggregated to a specific period to date level. You can toggle between different levels to dynamically view the aggregated period to date metrics. In the next video, I will discuss how to create the period over period calculations and dynamically view the period over period metrics based on different levels of period to date granularity. Okay, I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.